Okay, so Fleet Master update. Now I can sum it up in one word. <sighs> Last video, we were driving it around, everything was great. The only issue was that I had to pull the choke out a little bit to keep it from running. Visited Jay's shop, he said that's because the fuel is different and um, because of the leaded fuel, it now needs a bigger opening in the jet, so he gave us a new car with bigger jet. Ran perfect for about five minutes, enough time to get to Tim Hortons, and then it quit in the parking lot. And then started leaking fuel everywhere, so that I tried to rebuild it. Sorry, just had a a bunch of cookies they're really good <laughs> can you taste it I can taste it they're good the second time too um, the uh, we so tried to rebuild that carb no luck with that one went back to the original carburetor drilled out the jet no luck with that one wouldn't start wouldn't run wouldn't idle all sorts of problems and then I grabbed the carburetor off of the convertible popped it on that problem was fixed then after about 15 20 minutes of driving I would vapor lock, which is weird because the fuel runs on the right side, the exhaust runs on the left. So put a little electric pump in there, took care of that. In the meantime, it's left me by the side of the road about four times. So it's been on the trailer three times, which is annoying, but I met some cool people. I met a guy that's got 48 cars, uh, Cudas, Mustangs, Fastbacks, Chargers, like really cool. So it was all worth it. We're car guys. We don't mind popping the hood and talking to strangers. Anyway, then the water pump started leaking, so we changed that. Then the uh, turn signal switch started smoking, so we changed that. And then, um, what else? Oh, and then the, the blower fan quit on the heater. So uh, what we've done there is taken our little Nissan truck. Uh, that blower motor actually fit in this housing pretty good. Um, and all I'm doing is I put the cage and the fan on the nice uh, Nissan fan so we'll put that back together then it's going for safety um still need to drive it around a little bit because i don't want it breaking down anywhere or some other little goofy thing but i think i've got most of it figured out it'll all be worth it though because my brother's getting married next year and uh, one of the deals i had with uh with the guy who bought it is i can use it once in a while so um august next year if you want to see me in a tux and no grease on my elbows then uh, I need 5,000 likes on this video, and uh, that'll make all this worthwhile because I'm losing my shirt on this shirt, on this job. I'm losing my shirt on this job. <laughs> so, hope it all works out. Uh, Rick put the money to good use, but I really hope that this car doesn't give any problems to the other guy like it's given me problems. So, here we go. Okay, so a couple last final things on this thing, I hope. Um, what happened when I was tromping on the brakes, it would pull one side. Uh, it would pull to the right, actually. So um, I pulled the drums off again and just made sure that the brakes were adjusted equally. Uh, and just had to adjust the parking brake here. Uh, make sure that that's good to go. Um, but I'm still having one issue. Wondering if you guys ever come across this. So this is a 216 inline six. And what's happening is um, I'd run, I'd drive for about 15, 20 minutes. And then all of a sudden it would just die under load. Uh, when it's in uh, neutral and I rev it up in neutral, it, it's great. As soon as you put it under load, it falls on its face. So uh, change the condenser in it. I read that that might be an issue, but it really feels like it's fuel. So I put a little electric pump right by the tank to try and push the fuel, force it through, even though the lift pump on the side of the engine, all the rubbers took that all apart and took a good look at it. Um, and then when I try to suck on fuel, it's like I'm getting air. But uh, I cleaned the tank, I put the liner in the tank, took the tank, drained it again to make sure there's no crap in the tank. There's no crap in the tank. Um, the, the line, I'll show you guys the line comes in right here, um, which is about uh, a third of the way up. So I drained the tank and I let it sit for about an hour with no fuel coming out and then I cracked this line and then more fuel came back out again. So that tells me that the line is not split inside the tank so if if there's a hairline crack inside the pickup tube if the fuel goes below the pickup tube it could suck air and maybe that's why it was stalling but even still it's only a third of the way up so if you keep your fuel above that it shouldn't suck air that way either um, put the additive in it for the lead um, but i'm at a loss so we're going to keep driving this thing a little bit just to make sure that 
if I could come across something to prevent this from happening again, um, maybe I'll come across it. But if you guys know of anything that, that kind of cures this, that gets rid of this vapor locker, and I don't think it's boiling in the carb in, in the engine, it's just not getting fuel to the engine. Uh, is this common? Anybody? Um, help me out with this one. So uh, here we go. Hey, hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you love the channel, consider picking up a tape boss to make those projects go faster so you got more time to watch YouTube. And remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich.